Hey, uh, just close your eyes for a second. Go on, just close your eyes for a second. I'm going to say something truly, truly. <laughs> that's wise. That's very wise, Georgie, because you don't need to be actually imagining this. But here is a mental image for you. Are you ready, folks? Warwick Kappa has a new look. Oh, yes. So imagine it. Scary? Well, we sent Ashlyn Krikellis to investigate. What do you think? Show me it without the sun. Is better in real life? It does. I know. Yeah. Warwick Kappa really needs no introduction. Do you know who this guy is? You don't recognise him? You must. Or maybe he does. I took the best mark in history, hosted by AFL. Now he's got something new to brag about, a makeover. The result was revealed in Women's Day magazine. There's the before and there's the after. So how long did the brown hair last? Oh, the brown hair was great. That lasted three days <laughs> and almost dry reached. Everything else, though. Oh, the teeth touched up, as you can see. They're white anyway. They just got a bit of uh, three shades lighter. Is absolutely perfect. Just ask Warwick. How many lines ever is there? Dr Maz is good. Dr Maz is Kappa's plastic surgeon at Sydney's Star Cosmetic Medicine. There's some uh, crow's feet around the corners of those eyes. There are radial lines there. There's some lines in the forehead there as well. And some of those areas we can soften um, with Botox, or in this case we use a, a muscle relaxant called Dispo to make it better. She's a hurt, the price of vanity. Freshening up grooming is no longer just something that the ladies do or something that's in the echelon of the rich and famous. It's something a lot of people do, ranging from teachers to truck drivers to politicians. So what's in it for Warwick? Well, the footy player turned meter maid, turned aspiring politician, turned lollipop man, now wants to be a star of the screen. I was supposed to look like Brad Pitt. I'd actually come as high as with um, Angela Jolie coming out here. Do you think Angelina might actually confuse you for Brad when she sees you? Well, the girlfriend... She might think you are Brad. The girlfriend said I was actually better looking. <laughs> I'm more well endowed and I'm six foot four, not five foot one. The 50-year-old is currently the leading man in his own series called Warwick's World, welcoming the public into his far-from-humble abode, giving them a glimpse at his wacky life. It's like a... Um, Kim Kardashian on steroids. Because it, it's actually going to make the Osbournes look like the Brady Bunch. And you can bet he'll do whatever it takes to stay in the limelight. I almost get a bit of a tweak every two years. And when I'm 70, I get the big threaded facelift. When they pull the skin out, <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 this is Worry Capital for Worry Squad and a Today Show. What is happening? I can't laugh anymore, do you? A bit tight. I can't laugh anymore. Set turn up. I want to hold on to that. Uh, here lie the look of Warwick's apartment. You can stay there. He's now selling the weekend at Warwick's experience. It'll only cost you three root canals and five thousand dollars. What you say? I don't know that we want to know what a Warwick Capra experience is like on the Gold Coast. <laughs>